Hello guys, it's Joster here. So I have a ride at the TCL boot right here at CES. So let's take a closer look to see what TCL has to offer us this year. Let's go. All right, so first off, I'm going to start with the most popular series. This is the QLED TVs right here with TCL. This is the 65 inch. And I'm pretty sure this is the six series. I think they call it this year the Q6S, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna take a closer look in just a little bit. It's the 75 inch Q series. And one thing I like about TCL is like every year, same as Hisense, they just keep on improving their displays. Let's take a look at some of the information right here. So we have QLED Quantum Dot. This is the new bright display, 55 inch and up. So yeah, 55 inch displays will have this new brightness increase and then motion rate to 40 so it supports hdr pro plus dolby vision dolby hdr 10 plus i mean it has all the hdr support 4k resolution dts virtual x support dolby atmos and for gaming it's up to 120 hertz vrr i mean you have all the uh, features for gaming as well but uh there's something that i like about this tv i'm gonna show you in just a little bit here's a 75 inch model so if you're looking something bigger than 65 well tcl does have your back and there's also more over there so it is also available in a 98 inch impressive 98 inch of course I, I mean this is honestly like i said it before i think anything over 85 inches is just way too big for a tv you need at least three people to help you set this up imagine how much it weighs so yeah you're gonna need a lot of space a big tv stand or a nice nice very strong wall to mount it if you want to do that but hey there's an option right there otherwise you can just go for a projector projector is more versatile when it comes down to such uh, big sizes so one thing that i think it's uh, very important look at this uh, the, the ports right here so we have one hdmi that is a 4k 144 hertz and then 4k 120 hertz then this these other two ports three and four these are 4k 60 hertz but then port number four which is 4k 60 it's also the arc so that way you're not sacrificing either one or two which obviously most of us are going to use those ports for gaming so that's really cool and also it's like 144 hertz and 120 hertz is available on this qled q series from tcl tvs which i think is a very smart move now moving on, if you want the mini LED from TCL this year, it's going to be the H-Series. So look at this, it looks beautiful. The H-Series is going to be available in different sizes, including 75 inch and also 85 inch, I believe. But uh, let me get close to you. So this is the qm g Mini LED Ultra. So it has over 2,300 dimming zones. IMAX Enhanced, 148 hertz. This is a 4K TV and it has all the gaming features as well. So there you have it. The 6 series is going to be like a regular uh, full array local dimming. But if you want the mini LED, you're gonna have to go for the 8 series this year, which I think is a really good move. It's going to separate the 6 series, which I think is a fantastic TV, but the 8 series is gonna be the top model this time around. And here as i mentioned it is also available in 85 inches as well so if you're looking for that big size mini led from tcl yes sir there's an option or if you want to go big there's a 98 inch display as well look at this amazing beautiful tvs from tcl tcl also has a mini led gaming monitors that are curved some of them are some of them are flat but let me tell you something honestly i'm not very impressed with these monitors even though they are mini led 165 hertz hdr 1400 1152 gaming zones i mean honestly 
The specs look great, but I'm not I'm not really impressed with it. For some reason, it doesn't look like uh, it gets my attention. It doesn't look like it. It looks like a regular, just look like a regular, regular monitor. Hopefully they uh, they do something about it. The build quality, they look meh, look all right. But uh, after asking some information about these monitors, they're not even available. They don't know when they're going to be available. They don't have any release date. So maybe we'll get some more information throughout the year. But uh, yeah, DCO also has gaming monitors. Because Samsung LG, they use the vapor type. No, no, vapor, vapor steam. steam. Steam, yeah. yeah. The, the printer printing is different from there. So we, we, we think the inject printing type will use the less material because the vapor, you know, they, 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 uh, they will waste many material in the process. So this should be the trend because it's more sustainable. Yeah, uh, we think it's the, the trend uh, because they will be uh, friendly for the environment, environment and the cost. So I have a question about this technology. This is new technology. Would it have any problems with uh, screen burn, permanent screen burn? Would it have? Would the, does it still have the problem with the permanent screen burn? You know how all the, all they from LG, they have to deal with permanent screen burn. What about inject? Is it does it have that or no? Um, the the uh, the the big big problem of OLED is like the IS image sticking or yeah. the lifetime. Uh, I, I think there's uh, some problem need to overcome. Okay. Uh, but uh, we think the inject printing, this technology, uh, will be uh, used the less material. Less material. Uh, so we think the, in the future, the cost, uh, this this technology will be cost cost down, cost down than, than the vapor type. Yeah. Uh, so this is our uh, technology trend. <clears throat> yeah. So this is when it comes out, it's going to be more affordable than the regular OLED. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, to the uh, normal uh, OLED, OLED, yeah. OLED type. When is this coming out? Is it coming out soon? Or? Um, actually, we we plan uh, three years later. Three years. Yeah. Three years down so the road. this is uh, our prototype. But yeah. we show this uh, this product that uh, this we can do the large size yeah. in the AK uh, resolution. Wow. Yeah, it looks beautiful. So, yeah. Uh, what about brightness? What is the top uh, brightness? Brightness. Oh, okay. We can see the, this one. Uh, Brightness. Uh, wait a minute. That's a thirty-one. Oh, actually, this not didn't show the space. I, I, yeah. I don't know that that brightness. But it, it, I mean, by just by looking at it, it looks amazing. It looks uh, beautiful. Uh -huh. uh, this looks at least 800, 1,000 nits of peak brightness. Mm -hmm. But I just wanted to see if you had any more information about that. But it looks beautiful. Yeah. It, uh, the, the color and the performance is uh, like the yellow, uh, the OLED. Yeah. But, but we think the the process will be more friendly for the material for the yeah. environment. So longevity, the live longevity on this on this technology is similar to regular TVs. Is it longer? Does it last longer? You mean the, the life, lifetime? Lifespan. Yes. Um, actually, lifetime has some some problem need to overcome. Okay. Okay. Huh? Okay. Well, thank you so much for your yeah. information. You're welcome. So there you have it, guys. There's some uh, concerns that I wasn't very clear about it, but one of them is uh, lifespan. It's something that they say they need to overcome. They need to working on it. And the other one that I didn't get a clear answer was the uh, the screen burn, right? So inject, inject, print, all it. That is what's uh, new with TCL right here. So that's it for TCL guys, I am mostly impressed with the mini LED TVs, 85 inches, 75 inch, I hope they also make a 65 and 55 available, but the new 6, the Q6 series is going to be more affordable one, these are going to be non mini LED, but they're going to have really good specs, so looking forward for that. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel guys for more information, I'm Jost and I'll see you guys directly from CES 2023 in Las Vegas. I'm Jolster and I'm out.